Hello everyone, this is Adan aka DA from e Academy, and welcome to this series of dealing with missing data in Python. In this first video, we will be discussing the overall theory behind handling missing data, including imputing and deleting methods, and vendor usage. So let's get started with the overview of these two approaches. So missing data is a very common problem in data analysis and can have significant effect on the results. There are two main ways to handle missing data. The first one is to delete the missing data, that's deletion approach. And the second is we can impute, fill that missing data, that's actually imputation approach. So if we go towards deleting the missing data, there are basically three approaches. The first approach is to delete pairwise. Only delete those values that are null. This is known as a pairwise approach. The second approach is listwise approach or deletion of the entire row. And the next approach is to delete the entire column that have missing values. So all in all, deleting missing data involves removing any observations or variables with missing values. This method is although simple, but can lead to loss of information and reduced sample size. It is typically used when the amount of missing data is small or when the missing data is not at random. On the other hand, if we go towards imputation, we can have general approaches as well as advanced approaches. If we go in the general approach, we can divide it on the basis of data we have. If we are not dealing with time series data, then we can impute with the constant or manual filling. And the second one is mean imputing, median imputing, or we can fill with the most frequent data. So this is when we have known time series data. When we are dealing with time series data, we can fill up with forward and backward filling as well as regression or linear interpolation. So these are the three techniques that we can use actually when we have time series data. And in the forward and backward filling, we actually have a particular missing value either with the forward value we have or with the previous value we have. And in the linear interpolation, we actually use regression analysis to fill up the particular value. The advanced approach of imputation deals with the certain predictive modeling. And that's the first one is MICE, is a short form of multiple imputation by chain equations. We actually create multiple imputed data sets by this, and we can also use KNN, a machine learning algorithm to find out the missing values. Definitely we can go in detail of each of that approach, and we'll see in what sort of situation we can use each of them in our upcoming videos. So all in all, imputing missing data involves replacing the missing values with estimated values. And as we have seen, there are plenty of approaches that we can use from general to advanced. Talking about pros and cons, so this method can maintain sample size and preserve relationship in the data. That's very well, but can also introduce bias if the imputed values are not representative of the true values. And there comes a very important question that how do we know which approach is best for us? Typically, it really depends on research question that you are dealing with and the specific data set you have. So briefly, we can say that if your data set has a very small missing sample, then you can definitely go with the deletion. But on the other side, if the missing data is so large and you want to preserve the data set as well, and the missing data is not at random, you should definitely go with the imputation. So in the next video, we will dive into the practical aspects of imputing missing data using Python. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date with this series and let us know in the comments if you have any questions or topics you would like us to cover. Make learning easy with the Academy. We'll meet in the next video. Till then, take care. Goodbye.